So right here, I have a furnace that was changed out. So when I showed up, I saw several new parts. I saw the gas valve, I saw the new board. I noticed that the door switch, there were some issues with that. I noticed these new connectors. Um, I have since switched the board out to the original board. And now I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna walk you through what I did to troubleshoot this. Um, let me know if, you, if I do a step wrong or you think I should have done something different. Let's run through this. So I went white to red. The draft inducer motor kicks on. Then the pressure sw switch will meet. Then the spark igniter. The spark igniter is right here. So at that point I was like, okay, I am I getting power to my gas valve? So that was my next step. Am I getting power to my gas valve? I actually went to the wiring diagram. So I went right here, Honeywell gas valve. And then, so it has blue and yellow hooked up to it. I'm like, okay, that's correct. And then right here, drain system pressure switch. So I don't work on a ton of 90 percenters, but the concepts are all the same. I normally work on mostly 80% stuff. Um, so I was like, okay, well this one is for the draft inducer motor. That one's closing. So this is in between. So this pressure switch right here is in between the gas valve and the board so i just looked at it and was like well it does look pretty crusty because i actually just took my meter lead and i jumpered out the two the pressure switch so this unit's not going to fire up because i obviously don't have gas hooked up but so i jumpered out that pressure switch and the unit fired up so then what i did turn my meter on continuity and this meter actually rings whenever whenever it uh, senses continuity. So if I put my leads together, boom. I have the hose on the pressure switch now, and then I have my leads on my terminal of my pressure switch. So I'm suspecting that this pressure switch is bad at this point. So hopefully you guys can see that, but I have my leads on my pressure switch, and then I, I have my hose just hanging here for my pressure switch. And now what I'm going to do is suck on the pressure switch and see if it pulls in and closes. Nothing. So if we do the same thing, so if we take this one off, and we do the same thing with this one. So voltage is passing through this pressure switch. Voltage is not passing through this pressure switch right here because um, it's not closing. So this pressure switch is bad. Now I'm always leery whenever it's a pressure switch because I'm just always concerned about, um, you know, just throwing in a new part. So I, I always like to confirm that the pressure switch is actually bad. So I do as many steps as I possibly can to confirm that that pressure switch is bad. So then I grabbed my manometer and this pressure switch is negative 0.40 so right off the bat you should be closed and good and so this pressure switch right here was preventing power from passing so whenever the board was trying to send 24 volts to the gas valve right here the this pressure switch was keeping it from passing power through this power pressure switch to this gas valve because this pressure switch is bad the system was doing what it's supposed to and the port in the back back here was actually pulling in so it was pulling in uh 0.71 i think and all that this pressure switch is calling for is negative 0 0.40 so this blue wire right here is going down looping down and it's going right here to the gas valve See right here, I have 27 volts. So 27 volts, so it's, it's trying to energize that gas valve.
Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, I am getting ready to strip this furnace down. I'm going to save all the parts that you know, I could potentially use. I'm Right there is the heat exchanger. I think it was just like that right there. <laughs> Fell off when I removed it. So check that out. You can see through it still, but that's like grease or something. It's uh I mean there's a ton of bugs and then it's just grease. Now to remove this blower assembly, there's a screw right here screw right here and then it just the whole thing slides out same thing pretty dirty actually a wrapper pretty dirty greasy you can see that it's just grease so if you don't know i'm a landlord and i will actually take all of these parts throw them in storage and uh, it has actually saved me probably four times uh, just in emergency situations a pinch i actually just used a water heater part the other day out of my storage unit so uh, there are two water heaters right here that i need to strip uh, i was planning to make a couple videos on those but uh yeah so I save all these parts, throw them in storage. I have a garage on one of my units and I just uh, throw them all in there. So thanks for watching. Uh, this section of the unit is going to the scrapyard and then I'm going to, so what I'm gonna start doing on all these parts is I'm gonna start taking a picture of the label and taping them to the parts. So, so then I kind of keep track of what's what and what boards go to what. So yeah, hopefully you found this useful.